over a sterile field into the surgeon's room. The dimension of the frost allograph is measured. The width is marked from the tendon to the distal edge of the bone. This measure is reassessed before cut it. The cut must be perpendicular, such as is appreciated in the procedure. Then the thickness is symmetrically drawn. A cut of 90 degrees must be controlled. The next step is to draw the tendon thickness with the same measurement of the bone thickness. And by sectioning the tendon with the scalpel results in the patient and the Renman allograft. The Renman tendon could be used for extraarticular tendinosis in front of residual rotation stability. The surgeon should remove the excessive surrounding bone tissue until obtain a cylindrical shape. The bone end is tested into the graft sizing block until it reaches the tardary patient's diameter. the allograft should pass freely through the graft sizing block. The last part involves a bulleting shape that must fit with the femoral tunnel. Kitchener wire is located at the center of the bone and to guide a transtibial technique. Prior to the allograft fixation, it should confirm that the bone diameter has not changed by dilation. The obtained dimensions serve to define the femoral tunnel length. Finally, the femoral fixation is guided using a cushioned wire. The adequate femoral insertion is controlled and confirmed by a proscopy.